Hey, archery friends, this is Tara. I'm gonna show you right now how to load the arrow correctly onto the string. There's four basic steps that I teach all my beginner archers. And I'm also gonna show you how to place your fingers on the string correctly as well. Before I do that though, I want you to know some terminology in archery so this all makes sense when I show it to you. So here's your arrow. On your arrow, you have four components. You have the tip of the point, you have the shaft, you have the fletchings, and you have the knock. If you notice on the fletchings, you can have feathers, these are plastic veins. If you notice, two are the same color, one's a different color. The one that's a different color, this is called your index fletching, okay? I just call it the odd fletching but it's really important for how you're gonna set it up on your bow. So I'll show you that in just a second. That's your index fletching. Up here, this is called your knock. The knock is important because the knock is what actually attaches to the string. So every time you shoot, you wanna listen for this sound here. Hear that little click noise? You wanna make sure you hear that every time because this is what attaches the arrow to the bow. Okay, so that's your arrow. On the bow right now, all I'm gonna show you, this is your string. On the string, there should be a little metal piece here. This is called your knock set. The point of the knock set is to help you so every time you load your arrow on, you're loading it on the same position on the string so that it's always flying out nice and straight. So it's important to have a knock set on there, okay? All right, so four steps to loading your arrow for beginner archers. Step number one, okay, I kinda already told you this. You're gonna take the arrow and it's gonna go under the metal piece, all right? Number two, you're gonna make sure it clicks on to the string. So listen for the sound. Okay, there's that little click noise. Number three is really important, so watch this. You have that index fletching, the odd fletching, and then you have the two other colors. The one that's different, your index fletching, you wanna make sure it faces towards you when you're shooting, okay? If you don't do that and you have it facing the other way, what could happen is when you shoot, the way this arrow is designed, it's gonna come out and it's gonna hit the riser on the way out and then they're just not gonna fly as good and they're gonna keep hitting and then fletchings are gonna come off and you have to repair your equipment. So make sure that the one that's a different color, your index fletching, faces towards you because the way this arrow is designed, when it comes out of the bow, it should come out straight so there shouldn't be a clearance issue, okay? So the arrow is gonna go under the metal piece, click it on, make sure that the odd fletching faces towards you. And then all you're gonna do is lay the arrow on the arrow rest right here and you're ready to shoot your bow. It's all set up. Now, for finger placement on the string as a beginner archer, you're gonna take three fingers, all right? Olympic archery, they'll do split finger. I recommend for beginning archery, three fingers under. A lot of times you're shooting closer, um, so you don't need that extra distance by going split finger. Um, and then also in barebell archery for beginners, a lot of times beginners will squeeze the arrow off the rest. So I like that three fingers under to keep that so that way the arrow stays on there nice and good. All right, so. What I like to show beginners is you take three fingers. I use that first joint line, dun, dun, dun. And all I'm gonna do is place my fingers on the string under the arrow, all right? If you butt up right against the arrow, there's a chance for the arrow to come off the rest like this. So I tell people, just make a tiny, tiny little gap right under there, just a little tiny bit of space, so that way there's no contact with the arrow, all right? And then this is a great hook position to start out in archery. Okay, so if you see it like this, I just keep my pinky and thumb together so that they stay out of the way. And then you set up, and you pull back. Okay, hope that helps.